The music is really easy for you to want to be perfect. No, I know. But sometimes if you practice too much, then you'll like get inside your, you know, get inside your own head the the day of the of the performance. So you can't don't don't go overboard, you know. Give yourself some slack. That's why I do. I give myself slack all the time, and that's why I'm a failure. This is on uh, normal diff difficulty. Toast. Does it say Toastier is alive? Toastier is alive. Toasters is alive? I don't know. It looks French. Toastier. Pretty sure it's not, but. This is just on normal I always play this game in normal difficulty. Same with Hearts Arm 4. I'm like, yeah, whatever. If they want to make the game harder, you know, put it in the actual, like, normal... Normal version difficulty. I don't know. Like, it doesn't... I don't think... It, I don't like the way they make uh, AI more difficult in Paradox games and the Grand Strategy games. It basically just boils down to... Uh, it always boils down to just give them 10% more of everything and 10% reduction on penalties. And that's just kind of lame. It's like, you're not really making them any smarter or any better tactical players... It's just making them be a little, you know, have more men out materialized from nowhere, <laughs> which I just find kind of weird. <clears throat> if they got new, like new tactics, I would absolutely play on a higher difficulty. But yeah, I'm like whatever. This is the game as a, as it's meant to be played in my eyes. Oh, oh, thank you for the follow. Toastiers is alive. Toastier. <laughs> I'm con I'm gonna convince myself now that your uh, your name is French. Even though I'm pretty sure it probably isn't. Oh wait, Vienna, you're... Vienna has been sieged and you're still going, huh? Toasty... Toastiers. Okay. Toastiers is alive. Gotcha. Would you be offended if I called you Toastier with a French accent? That might be a little offensive. I mean, now I'm, I'm assuming... Now that you said it's toastiers, that it's not that you're you're not French, so you probably won't be offended. But um, uh, yeah, here's the map. So, well, like I'll show Europe first, then do the rest. Um, um, so we got Great Britain, France, Spain, Portugal, all pretty normal. Um, Morocco is actually a Catholic Morocco. Um, they popped out of Portugal. All this land used to be owned by Portugal, but uh, Brandenburg still doesn't form Prussia. Bohemia is decent. Poland, Lithuania, not in the PU, but allied. Russia? Oh, it's Russia now. Now it's no longer Muscovy. That just happened. Um, Russia's decently powerful. They lost a war against the Ottomans, though. Eventually, they'll probably be my ally that I use against the Ottomans. Um, Denmark, doing all right for themselves. Sweden, still underneath them. Ming, still there. Bamanis, Malwa, nothing out of the ordinary. Ethiopia hanging in there. Beyond that, we can't see the Americas, so, yeah. Still, though, uh, nothing too out of the ordi ordinary. Weirdest thing is probably me, honestly. Our country is probably the only, like, unicorn. Yeah. Yeah, not too much has been going on weird, why, you know. Okay, cool. Um, we already have Vienna, so I don't know what, what they're trying to do. Still have high enthusiasm. Very confused by this. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's annoying, but whatever. Okay, I won the siege. What about now? You're gonna still be a wanker, Austria. Really, you still have high enthusiasm. I don't really want anything from Austria, but I can use some money. And if we're already, if we're gonna be at war with them, or if we already are at war with them, we might as well do some other stuff to try and hurt them more. I'm gonna break their alliance with Hungary, that's the big thing. Might as well break their lines with the Pope as well. 
I only can do that in the Pope War. Because so whatever we do, we're not going to be taking 100% uh, land. That'd be crazy. Hmm. Yeah, we'll wait a little bit at least. Okay. Well, let's see. What could we get out of them? They have medium enthusiasm now. Um, yeah, clear offer. So we need to get rid of their alliance with Hungary. That's the big thing. So that Hungary is an easy target next time. And then Babel State, sure. Or, eh, we don't even need to do that again. We can do that in the other one. Oh, we could humiliate you. I forgot that we're rivals. Yeah, you know what? Now that I think about it, that's a better thing to do. As long as they're not coming to attack me in the mountains, which would not end well for me. I don't mind spending a little extra time, especially because we had to wait a little bit anyways to get Spain in, and we wanted Spain to maybe join in that war. We'll see. I don't even know if we need that anymore, but certainly is not going to hurt. Uh, are you coming to here? We might have to end the war if they come to attack us in the mountains. Does not look like they are. They would have been in Lienz by now. <laughs> yeah, we're not really losing much. They aren't really doing any damage to Rome, so yeah. This is a fine idea. We're gonna maybe go into a little debt. We'll pay it off. Hmm. Forgot about that. Uh, I just saw it on screen and I immediately forgot about that. But look at that. Nice. Cool. Um. Cool. Now they're gonna be real pissed. Um. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until that siege gets won, or until they're about to attack, or they're about to get another siege back. See no reason to peace out before them. Well, let's see what we can get. Oh, uh, as long as I can humiliate them and do the treaties and get like war reps or money. Oh, they have so much money. All right, we have to go for that money. Right, right. You guys are with me, right? I'm being greedy. I know the greed. The greed will be my downfall. But it's so good! Another fort has fallen. Give me your money! Good, Poland. Good! Good, use the force. <laughs> oh, oh, they got the siege. Oh, my God, that's unlucky for us. Still, they're going to smash that dude, and we'll get this siege to make up for it. Maybe they won't get that battle done in time. That's a little worrying. Nah, you guys are fine. Maybe. I don't mind staying at war a little longer. Like, this is fine. We're getting... Meanwhile, we're taking all of our aggressive expansion down. We have hardly any anymore. Nice. Oh, what's happening? Yeah, Treviso, let's go. Let's go, Treviso. And boom. Cool. Um, that's going to be good now. Definitely good now. Cool. 
Give me all your money. Give me war apparitions. I'm going to humiliate you. I'm going to end your alliances with everyone who ever meant anything to you. That's brutal, I know. All right, we'll end that one. Cool. I think this is a pretty darn good peace deal. I don't think there's anything else I'd really want to get that I can easily. So, yeah, get out of here, Austria. That is huge, especially breaking their alliance with Hungary. That's a big one. Um, that's awesome. Cool. This guy, I want you to stop using that dude. It's a recipe for disaster. Um, and we, oh, you know what? Pay off our loan. The money we just got, like the 700 ducats. Or no, 500. Poland took their cut. And, uh, and, bleh. Rome, cross your finger. Oh, we can take Rome, boys. We can actually take Rome and not have any issues. Tuscany, Naples, Papal State. Papal State, who cares? Tuscany, who cares? Naples, one province minor. <laughs> who cares? I'm assuming we can't take both. Though. We could even, oh my god, we could take both. I don't know. Do we take Romagna? I mean, what do you guys in the chat think? I'm kind of feeling we don't take it. I think Rome is more than enough. Um, and beyond that, I kind of want to get to war with Hungary right after or soon after this, and it'd be good to be able to take a lot more from Hungary, because it's all, they have more provinces, and they're in our culture group, so it's gonna be a lot easier to integrate them, and beyond that, we need to just grow, like, break Hungary, so that we can eat them easier in the future. So I think it, I think I'm gonna be a little, even though we have a claim on Romania, and we totally could, I'm going to not do that, I'm gonna take just Rome. We also, oh my god, we can humiliate these guys too. I mean, this is like in, an incredible stroke of luck, I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to take Rome. Rome is a huge thing for us to get. That's awesome. That's incredible. Break their lines. Humiliate. Take all their money. Look at that. That's good. Yeah, I'm not gonna think about it. Uh, think about it twice. It's good. Look at that. Rome is ours. You heard me. Rome is ours. Arg. No, <laughs> that's a different thing. Get rid of the castle there. Yeah. Look at that. The the real big benefit... Oh, our name looks better now. That's the real big benefit. No, the real benefit is the fact that it, it connects up all our lands. I mean, also, just having your own is good. Um, but the fact that we... Um, the fact that we got all of our lands connected in Italy makes transportation a lot easier. Now we just need to get all the rest of the Adriatic. <laughs> So we've eclipsed them. How much do we actually have? 30, 30, 25, 10, 9, 10, 12. You always... <laughs> oh, man. We have pretty much a million power projection. <laughs> okay, cool. That's awesome. Well, all right. Let's this time be careful with who we set as our new rivals. Uh, we should definitely do Hungary. I'm not even going to really look at it too hard, but uh, real quick, check. Do they have any alliances or rivals that could mess us up? Nope. Actually, actually, this is perfect. Literally all our big allies hate them. We'll be completely in agreement then. Nice. Hungary. Screw you. I'm surprised we actually can rival them, to be honest, but nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Hungary. Screw you, bud. Oh, we're so over on our naval limit. Oh, oh man, that's bad. Oh man, this is awesome. This is incredible, man. I'm loving this. You're no longer allied to Austria. Hmm. I need to be careful though. There's people they could ally with. They're allied with Tuscany, Mantua, I don't care. 
and they might ally France. That's a possibility. So we should try to declare before they can do that. Um, nobles. Yeah, you can have a little bit more land. Kosovo. There you go. Oh, shit. Also, what is our title? Mabret? I do not know what that even translates to. I'm assuming king. So, France just declared on Austria for uh, Sung Dao, I'm assuming. Sung Gao. Um, okay. That's really good. I love to see Austria getting beat up and France not getting huge. <laughs> okay, cool. Everything is coming up right now. And then Ottomans declare. No. I don't think they're going to declare on us right now, actually. I think they're working on other stuff. And we're, like, more powerful than ever, so... Kind of considering building more transports. Well, we already have, like, way too many ships over the limit. Mm-hmm. Let's think about this. We do have a lot of Diplo power. We are probably going to... So... The war with Hungary is going to bring us into contact with uh, Tuscany and Mantua. So we need to leave one army over here. Or both. Yeah, actually, we'll just leave both over here. I think that's a better idea. Yeah, that's fine. Probably want to do that. Like, get... Oh, no! I was going to get a third claim on you guys, and I can't now. Crap. Ah, oh, that pissed me off. All right, well, then that's probably going to be it, then. We're probably going to go to war with them. And I really want to make sure that we crush them, so I'm going to call in Poland and Lithuania. I'm not going to call in Spain now. I think that's a little much, um, but we could if we need to. If things go bad right at the start, we'll do it. I'm not going to be afraid to. Um, yeah, I, th I think I'm going to just declare right now while our enemies are fighting and, uh, and while Hungary is not really allied to anyone strong. I think this is our chance. We go for Dalmatia. We're going to try to take a lot more than that, though. Let's look at, real quick, tell you what. I'm going to wait till January so we get one more tick of full reduction on aggressive expansion. Because it is, you do get less reduction, I believe, unless it was changed in the 10 patches since I heard this information. Um, I do believe that you get more reduction when you're at peace than when you're at war. Which makes sense. Just like in Vicky 2, the infamy. That sort of thing. Oh, ooh, excuse me. I'm just a little worried they're going to get new allies, but hold on. Hold on. All right, we're good. And yeah, aggressive expansion goes down a little bit. I don't care too much either way. Really, I don't really care for aggressive expansion unless, like, the Ottomans could join or Austria and France, and that's not going to happen. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Hungary, it is your time to die. Poland and Lithuania. I want both of you guys in this. I want to go to war. Tuscany is going to join against us, as is Mantua. Mantua? That's okay. Go there, go there. Get them out of the war real quick. Uh, we should also... I don't think that our allies will do this, but we should do that. This is all Serbia. There's a lot of Serbian land here. Uh, so Cro Croatian land. Ooh. All juicy. Waiting to be taken. All of our culture group. Heck yeah, bud. We will unite the Slavic cultures. Even though we're not Slavic.
Oh yeah, Poland and Lithuania are just gonna swarm them. They have a lot of troops, and they're gonna probably get our fort maybe, but uh, after that, we'll uh, we'll deal with them. We will deal with them, and those those forts will probably fall before then, and then they'll start working on the capital. So yeah, we should be fine. France, you who? Oh yeah, you were, were with Austria. That's right. I hope Austria gets destroyed by you, because we are probably gonna have to fight them a lot more. <laughs> and I'm gonna take their land eventually. Real question is if we could afford to take Genoa, but in a secondary, being the secondary participant, pretty sure that would not be a great idea. Also, claims against them are a lot less helpful now. Should honestly get claims on like you guys oh Poland Poland you're gonna come help aren't you oh my my god everything's going well yeah, screw you guys get out of here Mantua and Pisa is gone as well I think that's going to be all we do here. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about taking anything from these guys. I could vassalize Mantua. How big are they? Only only 28. No, only 28. No, not a not a big deal at all, right? Yeah, let's not do that. That's a lot of aggressive expansion that I don't want. There you go. Get out. There we go. Okay. I don't really want to fight Tuscany. They're a little stronger. So I'm going to end their alliance. And that's about, yeah, I think that's about all we can probably do. No, we could, we could end another alliance. I'm going to end their relations with the Ottomans, because I think they might actually ally the Ottomans. That's a feasible alliance in my books. We could even take more. Or do more. Oh, get rid of the alliance with Savoy. Yeah, because that's annoying. Savoy's annoying. Get out. There you go. All right, let's go. Oh my God, Poland just came over there and smashed them for us. Nice. Wasn't even expecting that, but yeah. Cool. Italy has been uh, the Italian enemies have been dealt with. We got money, and uh, we're doing good. We're doing Gucci. Let's go up to speed four. Yeah, this is nice. Hello. Hello. What's up? What are you doing? Streaming. <laughs> oh my god. What's up? Nothing. Are you hanging out with friends? Yeah, just Okay. For Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Nice. Did you know that in like, for whatever reason, in like Denmark and Norway, Taco Tuesday is like a national tradition? Like, just for some random reason in That's Norway. Awesome. It should be. Yeah. Anyways. Do you need anything? I said I need anything. Well, I can't like, just come in here and say hi. No, it's fine too, but... The, the pups were out earlier. Uh, except Charlie, because he doesn't go out unless Coco goes out, and I'm not letting him out when she goes out, because otherwise he's just gonna... So he hasn't been out. So he hasn't been out. Well, um, Two hours ago, so they probably, hours. So they probably need to go out again. But I'm assuming they just been sleeping until you got here. 
Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to have an off, really. <laughs> wow. I was taking care of that most of the day. Ugh. I'm gonna close the door. What? Yeah, huh? That's been. I'm gonna close the door up here now. I'm gonna close the door. The front door. But you can come in if you need anything. Okay. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Sorry about that interruption. It's no big deal. Just, uh. Hmm. <clears throat> making sure everything was good with my sister and the dogs now that she's home. Alright, cool. Um, we will continue. Et we will continue. Oh, oh, oh. Croissant. Et croissant. Mmm, croissant. No. Um. Move the navy over here. Over here. I'm not gonna stick here if they're gonna stick here, but I'd like them to not stay here. Whoa! Um, <laughs> yeah, I think I'll do this. <laughs> we get an average claim, not even a week, an average claim, 13 year old with a 666 stats. Oh, and then only for 10 legitimacy? I would take that trade a million times a year. Fatmir. That's Fatmire, that's an interesting name. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm assuming it's like Fatmire or something, Fatmir, I don't know. But um, that's actually incredible. A 666 ruler is, on, is our heir. Uh, that is awesome. We are doing this. That's a stroke of luck. That might be like the thing that tips the balance in our favor over like the Ottomans or whoever. Cause that, that can make a huge difference, you know? We'll see, we'll see. Um, what was I gonna do? I was going to do something, but I don't remember what I was gonna do. What was I gonna do? I was gonna do something just now, and I just forgot. Oh, yeah, spend Diplo points. Yeah, that's right. Um, well, let's see. Are there any, like, culture conversions we could do? Calabria, Corsica, I'm not going to worry about. Ferrara being Romanian, I'm not going to worry about. Modena, no, 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 no. Only Reds. And Venezia, I'm not going to worry about. That's too expensive. <laughs> um, but Calabria, I'm not going to make Sicilian ever a promoted culture. Even though it's, it's decent, but it's not good enough. Um, and I already have Neapolitan in this area, so I'm just going to convert the stuff. So, uh, so this can be become Neapolitan. I could even make it Greek, have Sicily become Greek again, like historically was kind of the case, you know? Um, you know, Sicily was settled by Greeks originally. That could be fun, but uh, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about that. <clears throat> Makes more sense to have Neapolitan be here. Greek will take over, there's plenty of Greek stuff, you know. Okay, nice. Um, I'm just gonna have you seize the rest. Actually, you know what? Now I'm gonna use my ruler for everything. I don't care if he dies now. I want him to die now so that we can have the 13 year old 666 ruler come in charge. Obviously they'll, they'll have a regency if they die now, but still I'd rather have them right when they come of age to be the ruler directly with their 666. That's amazing. Yeah, we can use, <laughs> I'm not gonna hold back now. Have the, uh, have our ruler do everything. <laughs> Get into battles, yeah. That'll be Gucci. That'll be Gucci game. Gucci game, Gucci game, Gucci game. No. I'm, I hate myself for that. Okay. We're working on uh, C or um, 
Espionage with the Ottomans, too. That's good. Okay. Yeah, there's their army. I don't know where they were planning on going, but they might have been going to attack us. We'll see. Look at this. Look at this war. It's so good. Oh, so satisfying. To just see everything here. All buttered up. That doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean. All occupied. Occupadoed. that last siege oh and we got it and the religion in Rome just changed to Protestant for free holy crap that's hilarious probably because of the humanist ideas and stuff jeez look at that oh my god Italy is almost completely <laughs> completely reformed and Protestant oh partially because Tuscany just conquered like everything jeez what is happening the Pope is almost gone Tuscany has no allies. Everything is going for us now. I thought there was like a conquest of Rome thing for us, but I guess not. Whatever. Not a big deal. Well, if we can make it like just two months, we'll be good. Well, and actually, hold on. There we go. We got the siege. Alright, time to peace out. And this should use Diplo points for us, right? Maybe not. I thought it did. Whatever. Um, so what are we going to do? Does Poland have claims on anything? They do. Ooh, what if I fed Poland some stuff just to make them happy? I'm not going to be going up to Slovakia ever, I don't think. We might do that. We might do that just for fun. First, we got to worry about ourselves, though. Ourselves. We can almost take every, every single province. Obviously, we can't actually, but... To be honest, it's actually a lot more feasible than you might think. Like, we have truces with Hungary and Tuscany and the Pope. Those guys aren't even that strong anyways. Mantua, we have a truce with Milan. We don't. Austria, we do. Urbino, we could actually do this. And it would be probably fine. Which is crazy to me. But I'm not going to. I think I'm going to instead take a little less. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to take less. Um, I'm going to focus on stuff we already have stated. You know, let's do, let's like think about it like that. Uh, and definitely Lika and all the way up to Istria. I want to get as much of the coast as I can so that I can then um, like wrap around and have everything connected. You know, that's part of my goal here. Um, even, if, even if we're not going to make a lot of this promoted culture, it's still good land. So, uh, and mountainous land, it's defensible. Yeah, you know. Or no, it's not actually mountains, but um, still, I think we go like this and this. I think this is what we take. That is a very good deal right there. We're about to get a tick to go down <clears throat> anyways. And then I think I'm going to give Poland some land. Because I want Poland to be strong for the Ottomans. I want Hungary to be weaker. I'm never going to conquer Slovakian land. Probably, at least. I might conquer Hungarian land and make Hungarian promoted. But I don't care about Slovakian. It's too small of a culture to bother me. Um, yeah. Instead, I think I'll feed I think I'll feed Poland some land. Plus, this is defensive land. If I do that, it won't actually give us any more aggressive expansion either. How many favors will that earn us? Only five? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> It'll give us five favors. Hilarious. Uh, it's not a big deal. It's better than nothing. Get out of there with that Russian military axis. Uh, you know what? Never mind. I might take the money instead. 
Look at this. So we're going to feed Poland some land. Get Poland a little more land. A little buffed up. I'm going to take a lot of money for myself. I'm going to get a lot of power production. We'll split it. <laughs> um, not going to humiliate them. We already have so much. We're going to get more anyways. And I'm going to take Bosnia and Nandorevafar and Istria, Lika, Dalmatia. All the coast. They're going to be landlocked after this. That's great. Yeah. And then we'll do one more war when we take the rest of the land. And this will give us a chance to put claims on every other one except Varast. So, yeah, let's go. Get wrecked, Hungary. Get wrecked. Albania will rise again. <clears throat> Look at that. Oh, we are at 90%, 98% over extension. Well, I'm really glad I didn't do that. <laughs> I got a little lucky. Yeah, we don't have any other cultures to promote, do we? No? Not that I was planning to promote. Um... Any culture conversions to do? Again, Sardinia we could get rid of. Eventually we're gonna get Sard get rid of Sardinian in place of like either like Catalan or or like or Tuscan, you know. A Tuscan is promoted. Corsica is not a I don't know. Are we ever going to make this a state? That's the other question. Eh, maybe eventually. We'll see. What other ones do we have to do? What other things could we promote? Romanian. That's right. I do think that eventually I'm going to make uh, Lombard be a promoted culture. When we conquer that stuff. Um... No, you know, I'm just going to develop. Like, one tick is all I need to do, so. Look at our country. It's so good. It's so juicy. Um, Eventually, we're going to put a fort, like, up in Crane, probably. Crane. We have the one in Hum. I don't think these don't it doesn't make sense to have both of these here. Which one is better, Belgrade or Smederev Smederevo? Smederevo. Smederevo. Probably better to get rid of Belgrade for now. Yeah. This is juicy, man. We are looking good. Oh, screw you, Ottomans. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I don't care about your warning. The Ottomans are like, oh shit, they're getting big. Oh, yeah. Can we afford to do that? It's Venice. Uh, yeah, we can do that now. We got two tax for that too. <laughs> I mean, Hungary just got thrashed. <laughs> Poland got bigger, I got bigger, that's great. Have taken an idea first, it would have reduced the cost. Yeah, that's a misplay. Mm, that's okay. Guaranteed by Tuscany. Ah. Oh man, I love this. There we go, Rome is now part of our patrimony. 
43 development added to our core lands. Look at that. Hungary just rivaled me. Too late for that, buddy. We're probably going to eclipse you soon. One more war. Oh, that's so good. Ten years till that one ends. So who do we go to war with next? That's the question. Maybe Milan. I'm looking at it and Milan is looking pretty good. Looking pretty good here. We have claims on two of their provinces. Of which both of them are in states we already have. I'd love to conquer the rest of Milan as well. Aggressive expansion though, you know, that's the problem. That's always the problem now. I think pretty much at this point we are bounded by our aggressive expansion. Nothing else I think is going to affect us as much. Um, so what what did I have like claims on? I definitely want Selenik to have a claim. Mm-hmm. We're actually making money with everything up. That's incredible. That's incredible. Venice. What? Oh my god. <laughs> France just conquered some stuff and then released Venice. Oh shit. Oh shit, boys. We found our next target. <laughs> hey Venice, how you doing, buddy? You just got popped out again. I'm gonna eat you and then and then vassalize you again. Oh man, that's great. Let's do it. Ah, fuck, that's not good. France rivaled us, but eh, whatever. No rebels. Which makes sense, all this land is of our culture group, so. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we do have the conquest of Rome. I must have just missed the event. We actually do, that's amazing. So we do have con the conquest of Rome. That's awesome. Our heir, oh, our heir came of age, and she's tolerant as well. Holy cow, man. We are lucky. We are hashtag blessed. Hmm. This is the point in time where I think we have a little bit of an extended period of peace in which we can, uh, in which we start to build up our army and our, our infrastructure more, you know? I ain't for sure about our buildings and everything there. I mean, that is infrastructure. <laughs> you know. You know what I mean. I wonder if we could, like, peacefully vassalize, like, a Ur Urbino or something. Oh my god, we could. I mean, we should probably do that, right? kind of feel like there's no reason not to get a free vassal. That could then... We could feed a bunch of land to. In Italy. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's an awesome idea. And it's a duchy, too. It's already Protestant. Yeah, this works. Let's do it. Nika and Dalmatia. So the other one should be happening soon, too. go Urbino thank you and we have one relationship slot as well oh there's all that land so let's see do we got we Carniola is not really worth it right now so in the future right now though I think we're great on states and yeah this was already in a stated area oh so good Mm -hmm. 
Oh, oh my god. We're at three stability. Yo, this is the greatest thing of all time. Um, I'm gonna get one more claim against the Ottomans, but I'm not gonna go beyond that. Tirhala. Hala. Okay. Ally with the Pope and guaranteed by Milan. Okay, well, let's still get a claim and then, then we'll be good. Transfer trade power. Yeah, sure. Um, then send him a gift. They're gonna love me. And we influence them. Yeah. For 10 years we get that penalty. <laughs> yeah, it's a little expensive. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait on that. Do that, yep. Give them all the stuff. How many favors do I have with you? Tunis, 40, holy cow. Definitely pump that up twice. Actually, we should do that, with, let's check with all of our dudes. Uh, definitely wanna, I wanna keep at least 20 with everyone. Uh, hey, perfect, Spain. Nice. We're forging a nice country, a nice empire here. I really like this. All right, that guy's half the cost, get him. Ottomans have rivaled us, aw oh, shit. <laughs> well. Walls are closing in, boys are running out of options for other avenues for expansion, but that's okay. We're doing alright now. I mean like we are seventh rate the seventh rate oh my god, the Ottomans have fourteen hundred. Holy fuck! How is that even possible? Who's second though? Spain? So Spain is right up there. Hmm. We should probably try to get like one of the other big boys, like Russia on our side. But Russia hates Poland and Lithuania, I think, so. We'll see, we'll see. Kind of feel, they're part of the empire though, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about that anymore. <laughs> now that I remember that. Sure, dude. You are my vassal. Thank you. We are vassal lord over lord things of Urbino. Nice, that's awesome. We got a free vassal. We can feed them land and then diplo annex them. That'll be perfect for this area because this area is all gonna be states eventually. We have a 666 ruler in charge. Oh, oh my God. I think this might actually be the most points I've ever been making at once. This is actually crazy. I want to, I want to, I want to screenshot this. Hold on. Oh, no, back. F12. Look at that. This is maybe the most like confident I've ever been in a country that's had a weak start. Look at that. We got a 666 ruler who just came of age. I mean, there, of course, you know, it, there are downsides. We lost legitimacy from that. Um, we're only at 50 now. 
but come on it's a 6-6 six, six, and it's a queen you know but it's a 6-6-6 six, six, six ruler what are you gonna do it's they're 16 they literally just came of age like a year ago they're tolerant too and um we have a hundred we have over a hundred power projection we <laughs> we're getting <laughs> this is incredible it's incredible how am i supposed to be cynical about this i can't be Yeah, hit that up. We're earning money for once. <laughs> A lot of it. We are, we're starting to, to snowball. We've hit the snowball point. We certainly haven't hit critical mass. That's a ways off. But we hit the snowball point. Uh, I would much rather have a chance to get into the... Well, Poland is uh, still... Yeah. Oh, wait, did you... Yeah, they're still an elected monarchy. So yeah, I'm gonna accept from Spain first. Yep. Prince Felipe, a garbage dude. Um, still, I would. I think that if there's an, a chance at all that I can get into Spain's throne peacefully and just annex them eventually and not have to ever fight them and conquer them, that would be actually incredible. That would really make me think that some, you know, someone up there likes us. Uh, I'm going to ask for contribution. I'm going to grant a generalship as well. Decent enough. Yeah, actually not really that good <laughs> at all. Um, shipyards is something I do want to build. But manpower is a little more pressing. Oh, definitely do that. Definitely do that. Definitely do that. Okay, that's good. Now with the rest of it, nothing super good there. I think we already have all the good ones. Uh, no, none of that is really super appealing. Uh, that could be good in Bosnia. No, none of those are super good. I think, yeah, I think then we build some shipyards in like there, 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 all along our coast here, you know? There you go. Nice. Um, really, it's for the it's for the force the naval force limit as much as it is the um, the other benefit, which is the um, oh crap, what are the other benefits? I mean, we'll just look in a sec. I don't care about Milan. Um, what are the other benefits you get from doing shipyards? Shipbuilding time and ship repair. That's right, time and repair. That's yeah. Okay. Um, to be honest, we should put another thing on allies. Oh, rebels. Tunis, could I get you to break your alliance with the Ottomans? I'm curious if I could. <sighs> no, no. But it's, it, maybe it would be a possibility in the future. I'm just gonna feed Poland, I think, and try to get Poland even buffer so eventually they can help me against the Ottomans. They'll be my little pet. Same with Lithuania. 